in this problem, we're going to be using the inverse of a coefficient matrix in a system of three by three equations to solve that system. And it's kind of a nice shortcut for solving the whole system at one time. Um, the main thing you need to remember is, is this little chunk right here. You have to multiply the inverse of the coefficient matrix by the constant matrix. And that's going to give you a matrix that is the solutions x, y, and z. So um, let's, let me show you how this works. First of all, what is the coefficient matrix? That's a matrix made up of all the coefficients x, y, and z's in, in this order. So um, we've got these equations set up just great for that, the x, y, and z first in each one. So I'm just going to take all the coefficients on the left side here to get this, this coefficient matrix. So uh, negative 2, 1, negative 3, 3, negative 1, and 7 halves and 1, negative 1, and 2. So that is our coefficient matrix. What we need is the inverse of this. So I'm just going to put a little negative 1 up here to remind myself I need to take the inverse of that. And then we're going to multiply that by the constant matrix, which is this set of numbers right here. So that's going to be multiplied by 6, 7, negative 7. What's that, what that's going to output is this thing right here, just the three numbers x, y, and z, and that's going to be the solution. So finding the inverse of a, a 3 by 3 matrix is a big headache. You'll probably do it with row operations if you're trying to do it by hand. I would definitely recommend using your graphing calculator or some other kind of calculator. I'm going to use this online one, and I've already entered in the numbers here for this uh, coefficient matrix. And this online calculator allows us to do a lot of different things. I'm just going to click Find the Inverse. OK, so that's got our inverse. That's this, this guy right there. And then it's got this button here that says Insert in A. So I can take this inverse and replace matrix A with it. So I'm going to do that. Uh -huh. So there's our inverse of the coefficient matrix. Now we need to multiply that, and we can do that here too, by our constant matrix. I just want to remind myself so I don't get this wrong. 6, 7, and negative 7. So I'll put that in here. 6, whoops, 7, and negative 7. And then we're going to head, go ahead and multiply here. So we'll do that. Aha, uh -huh. and that gives us this result right here, and that is... Um, those are our answers. So we have 25, negative 16, and negative 24. So our answers here are 25, negative 16, and negative 24. So if you want to know what x is, it's 25. If you want to know what z is, it's negative 24. And that's really all there is to it. If you're using a matrix calculator or your graphing calculator inside Alex, this shouldn't be too tough as long as you remember um, to use this formula. So that's a little work with using the inverse of a matrix to solve a 3x3 three three system of equations.